It's Friday in the Corin team and uh, super excited. One second. Boop. Ha ha. There we go. Super excited to be here with you guys. Um, uh, uh, again, the the oh, let me uh, let me tell you what we what we need for this circuit. So if you have a kettlebell, awesome. If you have a heavier dumbbell, fantastic. Um, if you have uh, um, even lighter dumbbells, that's good. Um, we'll need a mat, and um, uh, also you could use a book. Um, so. Any of those things will help uh, with this workout. If you don't have any of those things, then uh, do not worry because we will have substitutions to um, help you out with that. So um, for some reason, with these stories of the day, and we're, we're still, we're, we're still in, in the month of April, believe it or not, we're coming quickly up on May, and uh, we're doing our, our superhero stories, our everyday hero st uh, stories, and um, the, for some reason I'm getting the, the train-themed superhero stories. So um, in 1988, uh, there was this uh, train going through Indiana, and uh, this conductor, Robert Moore, and his um, engineer, uh, Rodney, sorry, Lin, Lins, Lindsley, um, were going down the tracks. And uh, uh, um, Roger, uh, or sorry, Robert thought that he saw a puppy in the middle of the tracks. So they blow the whistle, and then they realize that it's a, it's a child. And it's a 19-month-old child right in the middle of the tracks. And so the engineer uh, pulls on the brake in the... the um, the train goes from a speed of 24 miles an hour to 10 miles an hour, but it's not enough to slow the train down. And so um, the, this baby had, or this young child had crawled from their house, uh, their backyard where their mom was gardening uh, about 160 feet away to the train tracks and was just sitting there not realizing that this 6,000 ton train was bearing down upon, upon her. Um, and so um, Robert, uh, very quickly thinking, ran out onto the catwalk on the train and then, and then was hanging off the front grill, ready to scoop the baby up as it approached. The baby then kind of crawled off the rail, uh, off the track, but was still a little too close. So instead of being able to grab it at this point, uh, Robert uh, just kicked the baby um, down the embankment and then jumped off the train and was were there with the baby uh, until the paramedics arrived. The baby just had a little chipped tooth and needed some stitches on, his, on her head. But other than that, uh, thanks to the quick thinking of this engineer and this conductor on this train, that baby uh, was survived. Um, so again, like I read these stories, guys, and they make me so nervous <laughs> until I until I get to the end and everything's everything's okay. But uh, the point of the story uh, with any of these stories is, you guys are on on this journey. We're all on this journey together to um, to uh, build muscle and uh, lose fat and feel good. And that's that's a heroic act. You are you are trying to be the best version of yourself. Um, that you can, and uh, that's I feel like what superheroes do. So we're we're all on that path, right? So um, we're gonna go ahead and get into our stretches, and um, then we'll get into our our circuit. Put that there. All right, guys, we're gonna start with our Cossack stretch. So we're gonna be in this quadruped position. I'm gonna stick my leg out to the side, directly out from my hip, and then I'm gonna rock back onto my heel and then forward. So I'm gonna rock back onto my heel and forward. We're going to do that about 10 times, getting some nice wrist flexion, loosening up those poor little tech wrists. We're going to do that about 10 times and then what we're going to do is just some leg raises. So from here, I'm just going to lift my leg up and down. Now you'll notice that you probably aren't going to be able to get much height with this, which is fine. What we're trying to do is really activate that glute. And five. Woo! Yeah, feeling that this morning. Guys, now we're going to go to the other side. Kicking that leg out. It's coming straight out from my hip. Pushing back onto my butt and forward. Back and forward. Three, four, five, taking it slow, being real gentle with those groins, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna do some leg lifts. One, two, woo, three. Really feeling it on this side. Whoa, four, five. Yes. All right. Guys, let's go into our shin box with kick through. So I'm gonna have my shin in front of me here. My knee is going to be touching this front foot. I'm gonna either put my hands behind me to keep that chest up straight, or I'm gonna to try to do it without my hands. Either way, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you keep that chest up straight, my leg is gonna come out straight right from my belly button and back in. Let's do four times on the right. And then we'll do four times on the other side or whichever side you've started with. Three. And four. I love, I love this one. It always makes me feel like a, like a samurai or something where I'm in a, in a tea house and I'm fighting a foe from a seated position. Ha ha. How do you feel like a superhero as you're doing these mobility stretches? Three. This is how I entertain myself with these little visualizations. Four, nice. All right, guys, we are going to now stand up. We're gonna go into a deep squat. As I go into this deep squat, I'm gonna rotate out. I'm gonna rotate out. I'm gonna grab my toes and I'm gonna try to straighten those legs. You got this, Brenda, I know you got this. Then we're gonna come back down into our deep squat. So try to get as low as you possibly can with that squat. Rotate out, rotate out, grab those toes and try to straighten those legs, getting this really nice hamstring stretch at the top. See if your lower back will release a little bit more. Let's come back down into it. Rotate out, rotate out, come up. Oh man, yeah, trying really hard to get that lower back to release. Nice, nice. Let's do one more. Rotating, rotating, coming up. Whoo, nice. So now I'm just gonna get my, my mat out of the way as we do our walk arounds. And with our walk arounds, we're gonna do a T-spine rotation with this. So for my walk arounds, I wanna come into a deep lunge. So this leg is straight, this leg is bent. I'm gonna put my hands down next to my foot. I'm gonna walk my hands out. Now I'm in this high plank, so my butt is about the same level as my shoulders. I'm gonna come back in, and now I'm gonna rotate in, okay? So again, I'm coming out. I'm in this high plank, so right now my shoulders are over my wrists. I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna rotate out. Okay, so this is two. Let's do two more on each side. One more on each side. All right. Oh, almost forgot that at the end. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we got the, the guys that are landscaping out there. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through each of the exercises in our circuit as far as our warm up is concerned. And when we actually get into the circuit itself, we're gonna do two timed events. So we're gonna do um, the first set of exercises for 10 minutes and then we're gonna rest for a couple minutes and then we're gonna do the next set of exercises for 10 minutes, seeing how many rounds, uh, how many sets that we can get through. So if you have a kettlebell or if you have a heavier dumbbell, go ahead and grab it. Uh, let me go ahead and grab mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you 
the, uh, the two different ways that you can do the, the kettlebell swing. You can either do a dumbbell swing or a kettlebell swing. So for this, I always want to make sure that I'm hiking the kettlebell forward to start. So I'm going to come down into this hinge position. So I'm hinging here at my, at my waist. I'm going to swing the kettlebell back and up. So right now, I'm really squeezing those glutes at the top, and then I'm pushing the kettlebell down right when I get to the level of my shoulders. So go ahead and give me 10 of those. Or if you don't have either of these apparatus, you can go ahead and give me 10 bodyweight squats or 10 prisoner squats. Now, if you just have a dumbbell, you wanna grab hand over hand with this, you're gonna come back and up. Here we go, that's the way. So go ahead, give me 10 to start. Eight, nine, and 10. There we go. That's how we're doing it. Now, what we're gonna do is a half moon. So um, we haven't done this before, so I, I'm very excited about trying this out. So a half moon is very similar to when we do our medicine ball rainbows. Except with this movement, we're gonna go into a quarter squat or almost a push press, but we're gonna have our weight to the side. We're gonna explode up and then come down to the other side. So you can, again, you can do this with a kettlebell. You can do this with a dumbbell. So I'm gonna have this over to the side. I'm gonna come into this quarter squat. I'm gonna explode up, come down to the other side. So I'm catching into it as I go into my quarter squat on either side. Now, if you don't have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you could always take a book, because we would also do this with a plate. So come down in that quarter squat, come up and then down. Get those arms straight at the top. You're really using those legs to help get that weight overhead and then catching down into it. All right, so go ahead and give me 10 on each side to start. Nine, this is 10. All right, then we're gonna go into our plank up downs. So for my plank up downs, my shoulders are gonna be over my elbows. My feet are gonna be wide for stability. I'm gonna go up, up, down, down. All right, so we're gonna do 10 on each side for our warm up. Up, up, down, down is one. Down, down is two. If you can think about it, try varying which arm you're coming up and down with. I know when I'm doing this, I get pretty confused. But what I'm also trying to do is I'm trying not to push back on my shoulders. I'm trying not to have my butt up in the air. Coming up, up, down, down. I'm gonna pretend like that's five. This is six. This is seven. This is eight. This is nine, and this is 10. Hopefully you're starting to really feel warmed up, guys. So now we're gonna lay on our back, and we're gonna do our hamstring mobility. So as I lay on my back, I'm gonna really feel that lower back push into the ground. Both legs are up in the air. I'm gonna grab one leg. I'm gonna try to keep it as straight as possible. Then I'm gonna bring my other leg down to the ground, hovering about an inch over the, over the ground and back up. Now guys, I wanna get this really nice stretch in my hamstring as I do this, and I wanna lock out that quad in the front. We're gonna take this slow. We're not gonna go fast with these exercises. It's not a speed strength day. So this is three. This is four. And five. Hopefully that feels really good. I know it does for me. Now what we're gonna do is a military crunch. So for my military crunch, I'm gonna have my knees up close to my butt. I'm gonna have my arms overhead. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna crunch up, and then I'm gonna reach through my legs and then come back down. So my arms are straight the entire time that I'm doing this and my legs are bent the entire time. 
Now, if you have a lighter dumbbell or a book, you can also do it with that. Ha ha ha. This is your nutrition book. It's coming in handy for so many different reasons. So go ahead and give me 10 to start for this warm up. Six, seven, eight. Get a nice stretch of the top, guys. And ten. Woo! All right. Now we're going to go into our B circuit uh, exercises. Again, just as far as our warm up is concerned. So we're going to do our snurpees. Everybody's favorite in the dojo. Get my equipment out of the way. So if you're if the, the two different progressions of the snurpee is you either just lower yourself to the ground, which is fine. Straighten out those legs. You're going to come down into the knee grab. So bringing those, those arms close to your chest and then up. And then back down. You're going to roll over. You're going to pop it up. And then you're going to go back down into your snurpee. Doing that knee grab, rolling it over, popping it up. Now, the progression is it's going to make this harder. You're going to do a pistol squat all the way down to the ground. Then your knee grab. Up, rolling it over. So we're going to do six of these right now. So that was four. One more on each side. If you're doing the pistol squat. Remember to switch out those legs. Roll it over, pop it up, coming down. Woo! Again, you do not need to do a pistol squat. You can just lower yourself gently to the ground. All right, we got our snurpees. And now we're gonna do plank shoulder taps. So I'm in this high plank. What I'm gonna do is keep my butt again at the same height as my shoulders. I'm not pushing back, I'm not in a knee frame. I'm gonna plank. Run right over my shoulders. I'm gonna touch one shoulder with the opposite hand and touch. So, guys, my feet are wide for stability, and I'm trying to be. Slow and controlled with this. So I'm not going fast with it. Slow and controlled. All right. So go ahead and give me 10 on each side. Then this is six, seven, eight. Try not to move those hips. So I'm trying not to have those hips go side to side. Really. Working those abs, especially those obliques, to keep that stability going on with this. And then we're going to go into a push up with a knee to chest. So if you need um, a coffee table, a countertop, a couch, or if you're going to do a strict push up from the floor, that's fine too. I'll show you the two different ways that we're doing this. So here's my pretend couch. My feet are together, everything's on, my body comes down as one solid unit, and my elbows are taped to my chest. And then I'm gonna go knee to chest, all right? And then come down, and up, opposite knee to chest. Coming down, and up, other knee to chest. Coming down, and up, other knee to chest. So, uh, go ahead and give me 10 on each side for that. If you're doing from the floor, it's the same exact thing. All the way down, knee to chest. All the way down, knee to chest. This is going to be pretty taxing. Uh, so I think I'm going to do mine from the elevated position. After you're done with 10 of those, take a light weight. We're going to go done our medicine ball TFW twist. But you don't need a medicine ball. Again, you can grab a lighter weight or you can grab a book. We're going to hold our weight or nothing because you don't actually need to have anything for this. Up on our chest. Now, the first progression of the TFW choice is having my toes on the ground and I'm just making a very, very slight movement to the outside of my thighs. And this is the only one in the circuit that we're actually going to do fast. So, boom, 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 boom. Now, I want you to really keep that back upright. I do not want you to 
Turn that back. Keep that chest up. You want to make it harder? You lift your feet off the ground. You're just pulling the outside of your thighs. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So this is going to be 20 on each side. Uh, 19, 20. Awesome. So again, guys, you have your feet on the ground. You can use no weight, and you're just doing this slight twist, this 30 degree twist, right to the outside of the thigh. Okay. So those are all the exercises in the A circuit and in the B circuit. And so we're gonna have you grab some water. I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna go through our kettlebell or dumbbell swing or squat, if you don't have either of those things. We're gonna go into our half moons for 10. We're gonna do our plank up downs for 10 on each side. Then we're gonna do our hamstring mobilities, five on each side. And then we're gonna do our military crunch. That's one set. We're gonna start again. So, grab water. And, Start my timer. I'm going to practice with my dumbbell. So, hand over hand with this. Coming down and up, down and up. Really squeezing those glutes at the top. As I hinge over, letting that dumbbell pull me back. And then my lats are really pushing it down. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now I have my half moves. So, grab a little bit of leg relief, please. Start this quarter squat. Power it up and down. Power it up and down. This is two. Catch it at the bottom. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yay! Now I get to do my gesture mobility. Yay! Oh no, I'm sorry, I got plank up downs. My focus. Plank up downs. Aha! So up, up, down, down is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, aha, dead. Now I can do my hands with my mouth. Thank goodness. Feet together at the top. Really try to get that top leg straight. Bottom leg is also straight, but I'm really getting this knee to lock out as much as possible. And it's up, using my hands to help me with that. This is three, going slow, four, getting that lower back to the ground. And this is five. Yes, next I have my military crunch. So, if you have a weight or a book, great. If not, don't worry about it. Knees are up, arms are straight, reaching through, going back down. This is two, uh, three, four. sets we 
can get through in this 10 minute period. And right now we got about six minutes left. So that first circuit took about three and a half minutes. All right, now get back into it. Grab my demo and swings. And up. Two. Locking out those boots. Three. Four. Eight, 
nine, and ten. Woo! Yeah. All right. Plank up downs. Yay! We get to do all that. Winding up those feet, keeping those hips really stable. Up, up, down, down. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, woo, eight. Don't let those butts creep up. Nine, aha, ten, yes. Hamstring mobility, walking out that leg. Aha, getting that really. Nice stretch. And five. Let's go right into our military crouch. We've got about nine seconds left. Let me go ahead and finish this. Two. Three. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Guys, we made it through that first circuit. Awesome job. Grab some water. We're going to rest for a couple minutes before we get back into it. Ah! All right, so while well, you continue to rest, I'm going to walk you through this next circuit. So we're going to do our, either our dumbbell swings, our kettlebell swings, or our squats. This time, I'm going to go ahead and do the squats, just so that I'm demoing that also, for the people who uh, don't have the equipment for the swings. And then we're going to go into our Snurpees. So again, with those Snurpees, you see you down on the ground, kicking those legs out, arms to chest, knee grab, back down, rolling over, hopping up. Okay, so that's one Snurpee. And if you're able to do a pistol squat with it, fantastic. Um, then we're going to be doing our plank shoulder taps. So Plank, my feet are wide, I keep those hips stable. I don't want my hips to dip while I'm doing this. So I'm going slow to control as I'm tapping my shoulder, lifting that arm up. All right, really utilizing my abs to keep that stability. And then I have my push up with knee to chest. So push up, knee to chest, push up, knee to chest. All right. Or you can do it from the floor. And then for our last little bit, we're going to do our TFW twist. So if you have a book, if you have nothing, you have a dumbbell, kettlebell, and feet on the ground or toes up, just depending on how hard you want to make it, I want that, that back really straight. And you're going side to side, side to side. Really tiny, little small movements, just in the outside of the thigh. All right? 20 of those. So, we're going to get after it. Set the clock again. 10 minutes. We're starting. Got this. In three, two, one, go. You got this right, Josh? Oh, yeah. How do you stop? How do you stop? How do you stop? How do you stop? Or, if you're Chris Roberts, Yakuza! <laughs> Which I love. I, I really, really thoroughly enjoy that whole string on our secret Facebook page. That was fantastic. It just we're so lucky to have Steve Joyner in our group who speaks Japanese. He lived in Japan for years. <laughs> so he's able to help us out. Nine and ten. So either ten swings or ten squats. Alright, guys, now I'm going to my snarpies. We're just doing six. So 
Coming down. Coming up. Rolling over. Popping up.
going to push up. Knee to chest. Push up. Knee to chest. Four, five, six. Got tired, coach. Eight. Got me to be tired. Nine. Ten. I am not tired, Josh. It is true. You can be tired. You just can't act tired. So now I have my my uh, TFW twists. The only thing that we're doing fast, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aha! There we go. That felt like a complete <laughs> set. <laughs> All right. Take a little bit of break. We've got about three minutes left. Based on this pacing, it seems like we should be able to get through one more entire set. Alexa, play Monday to Monday playlist. All right. Let's get back into it. Again, I'm doing my squats. If you're able to do swings, please do so. One, two, Really squeezing those glutes at the top, guys. Locking up those legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten. Guys, this is the last Slurpees we we'll have to do today. So let's make them excellent. Ah. Down, up, switch it over, pop it. All right, ha, -ha. roll it over, pop it up. That was two. Whoa, got this. Three, switch on my leg. Wow. Four, one more on each side. Yes. Last one. Wow. Helps if you make noises as you lower yourself. I swear. All right. Great job, guys. Now, we're going to do our plank shoulder taps. I don't want to rob you with that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! Push ups with me and chest. Oh my. Aha! Push up. One. Two. Switch out those legs each time. Three. Get that chest down to that surface. Four. Five. Keep those elbows in. Six. Seven. Feel it. Eight. Nine. Aha! Good shit! All right. Let's go ahead. Even though the timer went off, finish up with our TFW twist. All right, see how slight and smooth this guys? Super fast, super slight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aha! Wow! That was awesome! Yeah? That was really good. Just gonna grab a little bit of water. We're gonna go right into our homework. <laughs> All right. 
Everybody's favorite part. Homework. We're gonna do 20 body weight squats. You can also use weight. You can also do a prisoner squat if you choose. I think I might do a prisoner squat today, just to make it more interesting. All right. So feet are pointed out, toes are pointed out. Make room for my hips. Coming all the way down. Whichever way that you do this, guys, make sure you're hitting that depth. Four. Five. Six. Really squeeze those glutes and get out of the top. Seven. Eight. sure you guys were thinking it. Maybe you were even yelling out last set, best set at home, or it was just in your head because you don't want to wake up your families or your dogs or your cats, unless you're using your cat as a weight uh, piece of equipment. But uh, anyway, guys, I like to think that training for warriors is actually training for superheroes, because I feel like each and every one of you is a superhero in my heart. You save me every day. It's so good to see you guys. Except for Bob. Where's Bob? You're not a superhero. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, guys, we're here to help you bring out the warrior within. Hey, do you like uh, like Josh's haircut? Yeah? I did it. I, I did it. I figure if I can lay brick, I can uh, cut hair. So. <laughs> No, <laughs> Actually, it looks pretty good. <laughs> right? That's my first haircut I've ever done. 